What's going on Tackle Warehouse fans? Jake here with this week's episode of What's New at TW. We got a bunch of really cool stuff for you today. We're gonna start off with a few reels from ARC. So adding to ARC's lineup of reels, we got a new flagship series bait casting reel, the new Gravity 8. What a phenomenal reel. Hold this thing in your hand. The cosmetics on this reel is outstanding. It's got an aluminum frame on the middle and then it's got the carbon side plates on the outside there. So super, super lightweight, but incredibly strong, extremely rigid. On the inside, it's got this nice aluminum wiffled spool on there. It's super lightweight, so you're gonna be able to cast those really light baits and, and you're not gonna have any problems with backlashing and stuff like that. On the inside, they actually have a patented braking system. Their magnets are just set up a little bit different. They've engineered them in a little bit different way than most other reels on the market. But phenomenal cast control system, so you can really get it dialed in for those really small baits, heavier baits, and just bomb those things out there and just get that little bit of extra casting distance, get, that, get those baits away from the boat, Is it in case you got those pressured fish or you're just trying to cover a little bit more water, got the trolling motor on 10 and you wanna get those baits out there and be able to just cover water more effectively. But coming in 279 bucks, phenomenal reel, left and right hand retrieves and multiple gear ratios if you're looking for a new reel. Definitely check these out from ARC. Uh, another one from ARC, they've actually added a BFS reel. So um, with, that, with that said, down here on the spool, I mean, a tiny little spool, it's super shallow, but as you can see, they've removed just about every bit of material that they can out of the bottom of that spool. And this thing, I believe it cast lures down to 0.6 of a gram. So super lightweight bait. So if you're into throwing tiny, tiny little baits, you know, little tiny swim baits, maybe like something like the six cent baits here or those, you know, like little crappie style jigs or little tiny uh, 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 crank baits and top waters, there's more and more of these BFS reels coming out on the market. It's super exciting. More rods are coming out on the market. So if you're looking for a BFS reel, this one comes in at 150 bucks and it's got that same patented braking system on the side. Super easy to get it dialed in. So you don't have to mess around with, uh, with opening the side plate and adjusting one brake at a time. So it's super easy to make quick adjustments when you really need to get them dialed in for those super lightweight lures. Uh, it, it can be incredibly hard to throw those, but with these BFS setups, super easy and a ton of fun. So if you're looking for a BFS setup, definitely check these out from ARC. All right, next up from ARC, we actually got a new jig. So the last time I was on, we had the new Randall Tharp jig. Now we got the West, uh, the West Logan swim jig. This is a really cool swim jig. Uh, I love the way they designed this jig. So it's got a custom hook. It's got a really big gap on it. So it's a five aught hook, but it's a short shank. So it's gonna keep it compact, but you're still gonna have a whole lot of bite on that hook. You know, pretty stout weed guard. It's gonna be able to, you know, you're gonna be able to get through all that, all that cover, get through the weeds, no problem. What's unique though, is this head shape. It's got that vertical line tie and that head shape. It's really wide along the bottom and it does have that edge. It's almost like a boat or a kayak. And the way that head is shaped, it can actually go over cover and go over the sticks and brush and, and wood without rolling over and, and snagging your hook. So it's gonna keep that, keep that jig kind of you know, orientated the way it needs to be when you're going over cover with that sharp edge. It's gonna kick that head back over and keep it straight and just help reduce some of the snags. Wire tied skirts, which is a great feature. I love all the jigs that have those wire tied skirts. You're not gonna have to worry about, you know, fishing it for, a couple of days or leave it in your box after you use it and then you take it out and the skirt falls off never going to have that issue with the wire tied skirt and then the keeper system they have a double wire keeper on there which is in my opinion a lot more effective than the the lead barb keeper that wire just holds it on there a lot better and it doesn't tear the bait up as much especially if you're trying to use maybe a little bit smaller, a little narrower uh, soft plastic trailer. Sometimes those barb keepers will tear them up just trying to thread them on there. These are a lot more effective. So uh, really high quality swim jig and some really cool colors designed by Wes Logan himself. Now, if you're looking to maybe, uh, maybe outfit some of your jigs and, and get organized and uh, you know go over some tackle before the fishing season gets really, really hot, Dirty Jigs has got their new finesse cut skirt. So if you got some old jigs and maybe the skirts are beat up or you're, you're just trying to build some, build some baits up and get the arsenal kind of filled up before the season, these little finesse cut skirts are great. They come in a bunch of the Dirty Jigs colors. They make so many great colors for jigs, it's awesome. But now they got a finesse cut option for you. So if you're building little football jigs or little small casting jigs that you wanna have for those finesse situations, they got finesse cut replacement skirts for you. I believe we have 20 or 25 colors for, for those Dirty Jigs replacement skirts. Up next from Six Sense, 
a whole new series of jerk baits that are really cool. So the new 97 series. So the 97 series, the, the Provoke 97s, they're just that smaller profile and a little bit more subtle for those times when you got highly pressured fish, really clear water, the bass are just keyed in on smaller bait and smaller forage. That is the time when you wanna to go to these 97 size jerk baits. They got, uh, what Sixth Sense also did is they have them in almost every configuration you'd want. So you can have a 97X, there's a 97X silent, you get 97DD, and then you can also get a DD silent. So kind of got all into the spectrum coverage. So if you want one that runs a little bit shallower, you can go with the regular 97X. If you're looking for one that goes a little bit deeper, you can get the DD. And some of the colors that Sixth Sense has put into their jerk baits recently are phenomenal. Like this Shad Dawn, it's got some iridescent pink on there, that kind of chartreuse belly. It's kind of a, a transition color that goes back and forth. And then you have the scale finish on the outside. So awesome colors. That matte finish is super, super cool. And the hardware on these things is incredible. I mean, take them out of the package, be sure to be careful because these hooks on here, they're a small kind of round bend, Teflon coated treble hook, and they are sticky, sticky sharp. I definitely almost took myself trying to, trying to get these things out of the package, so be careful when you pull these things out. But all around, phenomenal series of jerk baits there from Six Sense. And like I said, got them in all the different configurations that you'd probably ever need in a jerk bait. Next up from Six Sense, we got one designed by Corey Johnston, Bassmaster Elite Series, smallmouth hammer from up north. So this new, this new Party Minnow 3.0, tiny little swim bait. But what's cool about this is he's actually designed this bait for, for drop shot fishing or drop swimming when you wanna kinda of move the bait a little bit quicker and get that bait to swim or fish it in current and you don't have to move it at all. And that little tail just kicks and kicks. Uh, I mean, you can be, you don't have to be in current, you can be in pretty slow, stagnant water. And because this, this tail is tapered out so thin back here, it doesn't take hardly any movement to get that tail to kind of move and shimmy and look like a panicked bait fish. But up here on the head, it still has enough plastic up here on the head and it's got those nice 3D eyes on there that it's gonna be a great option for running on small little jig heads when you, when you wanna run just a small little single swim bait and fish it through the middle of the water column or if you're targeting fish with your uh, forward facing sonar, this is a great option for that. There's a bunch of really cool bait fish colors. So if you want something that's more green pumpkin, more shad, they've got a bunch of different options for you, but a phenomenal little swim bait for those finesse situations there by six cents. Uh, a couple, another one kind of geared towards the smallmouth anglers. So from Rabbit Baits, we got this new, this new Rabbit Baits hair jig. What's cool about this jig, you know, for those anglers up north, you know, waiting for that ice to melt, the to chase smallmouth, it, this one's actually made out of fox fur, which I've never seen. This is probably the first one that we've ever gotten to tackle where else it's made out of fox fur. And then it's got those little pieces of mylar flash in there. So the color combinations are really cool and that little bit of flash just makes them pop. But with the fox fur on there, it's a little bit more, more buoyant than your marabou, marabou style jigs. So it's gonna have a slower rate of fall. So that allows you to, to get a heavier jig head. So you'll be able to cast it a little bit farther, but yet maintain that little bit slower rate of fall. So if you wanna bump up in size, get a little bit more casting distance, but you don't want it to sink super, super fast, definitely wanna check these out. They got a premium hook on there that are sticky, sticky sharp and a whole bunch of colors. From Berkeley, uh, add into the big game lineup of, of lines. So now we have Berkeley big game braid. So this is a classic release item. Uh, it came a little bit early. We're stoked to get it. Um, uh, awesome line. I believe it comes in 330 yard spools and we have it from 65 down to 20, I believe, or 30 pound braid. But I mean, rock solid braid. It's going to be great. It's, it's a phenomenal value. I think it's 1899 for 330 yards. But Man, this stuff, it's, uh, it's a four carrier braid, so it's super strong, super abrasion resistant. So if you fish around a lot of rocks and a lot of wood and you do maybe some inshore fishing, you're throwing into kelp beds and you need to cut through that stuff, this is one you wanna look at. I mean, it's got that, that, uh, that four carrier construction that's a lot stronger. It can hold up to a lot more abuse than an eight carrier braid. And we got it in the, you know, green, uh, the, the moss green color. So flipping, pitching, frogging, whatever you wanna do. Maybe do some inshore fishing. Uh, a phenomenal new braid there from Berkeley. Uh, a couple series of rods that we wanna go over. Uh, this, another classic release rod. This is from Shimano, their new Gulf Series inshore 
inshore rods. So we got them in spinning and casting. They come in at 99 bucks, so incredible value on these as well. And they are, they are a sharp looking series of rods. So really designed for the Gulf fishery for fishing, you know, small soft plastic baits and fishing live bait and fishing uh, flounder, redfish, uh, trout and all the species that you guys fish down there. And they do have pretty, pretty soft, moderate actions. So they do bend quite a bit down into the blank and uh, for, for fishing none of those fish down there, so you're not ripping hooks out of fish's mouth down there. Uh, and they, they went to a little bit shorter handle on these styles of rods. So, so for the kayak anglers or the guys that are out there waiting in the water that want that little bit shorter handle, uh, Shimano did that for you on these. And they, on the blanks up here, they've got their dive flash technology, which is an X wrap up the blank helps resist blank twisting and reinforces the blank. They're a lot stronger and they do give you some additional hook setting power. It's great to see technologies like that trickling all the way down to $99 rods that previously were only on top tier high end models. Now you can get them in a $99 rod. So super awesome rod. If you're looking for, for something for Gulf fishing, doing a little bit of inshore fishing down in the Gulf that you need a little bit softer action for those, uh, those techniques and some live bait fishing, the Shimano Gulf series is the way to go. Uh, last rod we got here, new one from Dobbins is their new Caden series travel rods. Now it's really cool to see Dobbins giving you a Dobbins quality rod and now travel capable. So these are all three piece rods. What's cool about this series of rods is I believe they got three casting, they got cranking, spinning, and a swim bait model as well. So um, a bigger lineup than most of the travel rods we carry, you're only going to usually only get one casting and one spinning. It's nice that Dobbin's giving you a little bit wider range of actions for fishing different techniques. So if you're a traveling angler, you go, you know, go across the country, you go down to South America. Now there's a new awesome series of rods that's going to give you many more actions in the lineup. And with the three piece, I mean, flexing this thing on the ground, I don't feel any flat spots or nothing like that when you're bending this rod. It feels like a one piece rod once you got it together. Full cork handle, uh, you know, same with, you're gonna get the same Dobbins quality as you would with all the other Dobbins rod. Phenomenal rod, and they all come with a travel case. So they're, a little, they're all a little bit different sizes, so we put the tables down there below with the exact, uh, with the exact uh, case measurement, so you know that you can fit these in your suitcase or if you're really limited on your size range, uh, they got that covered for you down there in the description. All right, that's gonna wrap up today's episode of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. For more information or to purchase any of these products seen here today, click shop or link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most excited about.